So why does everybody love Grimax? I think it's because it gives you that that complete truck stop in space um, environment. I think it comes down to two things. It, it's because it's completely seamless, well, for the most part, and that the interior sort of fills out the exterior that you can see. Let me show you. So the first thing you notice when you're landing on Grimax is you can just park anywhere you want and you can physically see other player ships landed on the place, which shows you how populated the place is and it shows you the different type of ships that landed here and what they might be doing. It just gives you that truck stop experience, like like it, it's a populated place. Like imagine in the middle of the night you're driving off a highway and landing, you're parking at the parking lot in the truck stop, you see like the music, you see the lights. It looks just like, like this beautiful populated place at night. And for the most part, Grimhex was able to preserve that for two reasons. Because of the seamlessness, because it doesn't have magic elevators, and because it... Um, and here's the... I think a year ago they added this um, hospital area to the Grimhex. And I remember a developer in the video where they presented it, he said that... He literally said that elevators are the biggest killers in the game development, which means they recognized how bad the magic elevators were for the game. So they built this place like the rest of Grimax. It's like physically present in the station, and any pathway to it is a physical path without any interruptions by magic elevators. And magic elevators in this case means that it's the elevators that teleport you to a certain place without having any real physical connection to the place. Okay, now let's check out the, the interior of the station. I really love this place. It's like this, this beautiful open cavernous space and you see from the outside and the inside the interior tries to fill out the exterior architecture which makes the place feel real. The windows, then you got the entrances and of course there's a bad part which is the magic elevator area where you spawn a ship and you magically get teleported to the hangar. I think there was a downgrade for the station. And you can see the, the main elevators they have a straight elevator shaft and I'd like to emphasize that because that's a very important thing here which might seem trivial at first because the complete pathway to the main concourse area down here is a straight elevator, okay? It's architecturally planned to be part of the, of the structure and the entire place has this continuity of being a real place. No magic elevators up to this point, okay? So you can buy things, go back out. And I remember when Grimax didn't have the hangars, then you would physically spawn your ship and despawn it on, on the landing pads like that. And Port Olisa was even more um, seamless because it didn't have any magic elevators, which means you had to literally run out on the huge landing pads and your ships would spawn. Now some might say, okay, that's not immersive. However, it's far less immersion breaking than having to take a single magic elevator. Okay, now let's check out the Seraphim station. Seraphim station has several problems that Grimax doesn't have. First off, it's the, the exaggerated scale of the whole place compared to the interior gameplay space, which I think cheapens the scale. And the second problem is that the interior doesn't fill out the exterior. Because in these Seraphim type stations, which are basically clones of each other all over Stanton, the interior place are just these disconnected islands of geometry that are connected to other decks by magic elevators. And they have like this, this one window to the outside. And if you played a game in 2017, before I played it, I think they added these truck stop stations that were about the size of, I think, that section. They had like one window and the interior was like this beautiful cavernous space with all the shops almost in the same area. Now imagine how they could change that. So it's it's for example, let's imagine this whole station part doesn't exist. Let's just examine you have this section, this connecting area, and another section similar to this one. And let's say you, let's say the shopping area is somewhere in this area, and you land your ship over here, or the other way around, and there's like some spaceport stuff with a large cavernous area. It doesn't have to be the whole place, because that's here is probably about 
the trip is 200 meters long, so it's probably almost 200 meters tall, this building. At least a section of that should like mimic the exterior with large windows, similar to Grimax, okay? There would be like a tram system where you can use a tram with windows, that's the important part, no magic elevators, that traverses you along this thing to the next section of the station, which would be like a shopping area or something. And if you build stations like that, where the exterior sort of matches the interior, both in architectural quality, not these low poly um, things over here, and the architecture. So the interior would in some way um, look like the exterior would would use, uh, would suppose it look. Then I think you would have much more beautiful space stations. And I really hope that when they add pyro, that they avoid magic elevators. And I think the whole game should avoid it. Because even if you have landing pads like here, and you don't have to land in a hangar, because you can do that here, just land and go in, you still have the magic elevator teleporting you several kilometers away into a completely disconnected uh, deck of the station. 